Well, in The Drowsy Chaperone, I'm playing a character called Man in Chair. I play uh, essentially the narrator of the show. I take you on a tour of one of my favorite records, a, a very old 1928 musical comedy that I am enamored of, and that holds a little piece of wisdom that I'm trying to pull out of it, trying to figure out something about my own life. I guess what I'm saying is that that, that number is 90. And irresponsibly so. Well, the part of Man in Chair is a little unusual because, because I don't really enter into the world of the musical. I am outside of that world, describing it, to hope, hopefully taking the audience on a journey with me into it. So it's, uh, it's a little bit isolating in that way. I, you know, I don't get to, thank God, work on tap numbers too much or any of that stuff, although they have worked me into a couple of them. Recently, I did Noises Off, and I think I did Pine, Pine Mountain Lodge before that. But uh, while Jim Giancarlo was, was artistic director, I, did, I wrote for the cabaret, I, I directed at the cabaret, and I acted in the cabaret, at, at all of those things. Um, one of my favorites that I, that I got to do was something I actually wrote called The Holiday Broadcast of 1943. And we did it three times at the cabaret. I got to direct it the last time. What a blast. That's what an overture is. A musical appetizer, a poo-poo platter of tunes. Well, one of, one of the best things about this process has been working with, with Roger, um, who I, I just think is a terrific director. Uh, he understands that even though this is a comedy, I, I have a, a real person through line. I'm not a two-dimensional character, and he has been a great guide helping me through that. Part of the joy of this is the musical itself is really fun, very silly, very much of a style of, uh, of the 1920s, uh, when, when plots really didn't matter very much. Story was not important, just the numbers. You gotta do the numbers. So there's lots of singing, great dancing, you know. Uh, so I just gotta sit back and watch that. You gotta come see our show, it's really fun. And the singing and dancing, it's just, you're not gonna find anything better in the valley. <laughs>